and welcome back to the Letterman here on 90.7 WCOH. We're here for a jam-packed Friday. Of course, we are going to be starting off with the NBA All-Star Weekend festivities. At the 4 o'clock hour, Cody Dix, Mo Garino, and I will be talking about college wrestling for the weekend. And then at 4.30 hour, Zara Zach and I will be talking about a very, a very iffy topic for the NFL, Eric Bieniemy versus Patrick Mahomes. I'm very excited to talk about that, but of course... We are starting with the NBA. I'm joined here by Julian Hosty, Alex Gretchen, and Mo Goriano. How are you guys doing today? I am doing, doing great. I'm doing phenomenal. Thank you for asking, Ryan Martell. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. You're unbelievable, Mo. <laughs> Listen, man, people call me a character, but like, I'm, 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 uh, I love life to the fullest. So thank you for having me today. Well, of course. <laughs> I mean, I'm just glad to be here. I'm just happy they let me back on. <laughs> I'm happy they let me back on. Well, yeah. well that is me. So. <laughs> Thank you. Well, of I'm glad you think I, I I could fit this chair. Thank you. I could barely fit in it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's great for one time not being the big guy in the room. You're the smallest guy here. I know. It's both good and intimidating at the same time. Don't worry, we ain't going to do nothing. We're just going to talk some basketball. We'll be all right. All right. We're going to make it out alive. All right. <laughs> so... Wait, can I say something before we start here? I didn't know how much Hasi's dads love the loves the Knicks. He <laughs> loves the Knicks. He was heartbroken. We, we, we were we were chilling in Dean's room at 382, and <laughs> we were, were Hasi dad calls up and he's like, "Yo, what are you guys doing? We're well, just, just hanging around." He's like, "He's like, you gotta put the Knicks game on." <laughs> yeah. gotta yes. put the, I'm like, "No." no. So, so he's this right. Happened. So this is actually what happened. So he called me. I'm like, he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, yeah, we're just, we're just, you know, vibing out, listening to music. He's like, you're not watching the Knicks, are you nuts? I was I like, mean, <laughs> who would want to watch the Knicks though? Like, to be because they were playing Brooklyn, and we were, we had a 30 point lead. And, and then what happened at the end? Um, you know, the Knicks became the Knicks. You know, this is why we're in the 12th seed. We can't win the games. We can't win. Listen, as I was saying before, like we hopped on, I don't know why the Knicks didn't try to pull the trigger on sending Julius Randle back to uh, New Orleans. New Orleans, because mm. it was a big possibility. All they had to do oh, was put in. Trade. Like maybe two draft picks and Julius Randle and possibly another player, and they could have got Zion. No, yeah, and also we could have had all three of them, like all three that play that dude, because we have Cam Radish just not playing. Yeah, He's but not playing. The yeah. whole thing is, if you do get Zion, if you do want that Duke connection, you got to get rid of Tom Thibodeau because he doesn't like oh, Cam Radish. Yeah, yeah, no, reason. he's getting rid. Of him. You know what? Hold on, we're, we have to be talking about as much as I love my Knicks. We have to talk about. Yeah, no, we're not here to talk about the bums the league. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. You know, when there's teams like the Celtics in the league, I, nobody cares about the Knicks. <laughs> we're here. To, we're here to talk about the All Stars of the league. Right. He's a, so, you know, he's a Brooklyn Nets fan, right? <laughs> so speaking of the All Stars, um, I'm looking at the roster right here, and one of the <laughs> one of the biggest things that surprised me was that Dejounte Murray is an All Star this year. Is he? Yeah, I he's, know. A, he's an All Star this year, and the reason that's that's a close place to me is because. Once Kawhi left, I was always a big fan of DeJounte, but he never really got the exposure that he needed. And then he tore his ACL, and I didn't know how he was going to come back. So to see that he's a, an all-star this year is actually pretty impressive for me. I am, I'm more flabbergasted at the fact that where's my guy Draymond Green on here? Is he, is he hurt? He hasn't played. He's been hurt. He's been hurt? Yeah. I, I'm sorry, fans. I'm not big I don't hold watch on. the Warriors and hold stuff. Hold on, hold on. You, you should have heard him before the show. I said, did you look at the Google Doc? He said, I don't need I know sports. And you came I on the show sports. and said, is Draymond Green an all-star? I, did not say, and I said, I, I didn't say, Dray, <laughs> where's Draymond Green? I, I said, where's my guy Draymond Green at? Because I know yeah. every year he's an all-star. Right, like, did you not just say that? That's exactly what I said. But to be honest. Before, hey, if, oh, hold. before we get to Sunday's game. We got a lot of other activities to go through because right, All Star. Right. You're, you're right. You're right. All Star Weekend is indeed the tonight. whole weekend. It starts tonight. It does start tonight with the Rising the, Star. The Challenge. worst, worst night of the whole thing. Not like, but like what's, I didn't. I do not watch on Friday. What's wrong with the Rising Stars? I, I just never. I was never into it. I was never into the the whole Friday, the whole Rising Stars. I know we got a couple of cool moments from it, like the whole yeah, Kyrie. I mean, crossover. we have we have a cool little thing that they have going today. Instead of USA versus the world, they have a whole. They have four different teams. The honorary coaches are Rick Barry, Isaiah Thomas, Gary Payne, and James Worthy. Uh, the glove. The, the glove, uh, yeah. The teams. I mean, Four the different teams of seven. And then uh, in between each game, they're going to do like a little, a little mini game thing, which I'll get into in a little bit. But the teams for right now. And I'll list all the teams, and then you guys tell me which one you think is the best. So for Team Rick Barry, you got Cade Cunningham. 
Dyson Daniels, Evan Mobley, Isaac Okoro, Alperon Sengun, Jay Sean Tate, and, F- and Franz Wag- Wagner. Uh, team Isaiah Thomas is Precious Achua, Desmond Bain, Sadiq Bey, Anthony Edwards, Tyrese H- uh, Halberton, Jaden Hardy, and Isaiah T- Stewart. I said it right. No, you said Halberton. It's Halliburton. That's what I said. Halberton. No. You said Halberton. Halberton. May I say something? Yes. Um, which Isaiah Thomas are we talking about here? We're not talking no. about the 5'9". We're, we're talking, talking about the Hall of Famer. Yeah. 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 These, are, these guys are all Hall of sure. Famers, right? I was thinking sure. These are all Hall of Famers. I didn't know if I, Isaiah Thomas from the Celtics was coaching now. Okay. And if he, he knows was, sports, ladies and gentlemen. That's what he told us. <laughs> That's was? what he told us. He said he knows sports. I would love to be coached by the 5'9 GOAT himself. I would not mind that either. I mean, hey, think about it like this. In his career, he's had more dunks than Curry. <laughs> so Team Gary Payton is... <laughs> say no sports. I can't believe it. LaMelo Ball, Scotty Barnes. Watch your mouth. <laughs> Ayo Tasunmu, Chris Dor- Duarte, Scott Henderson, Jada McDaniels, and Davion Mitchell. And then to wrap it up, Team James Worthy, Cole Anthony, Marjan Beechamp? Beechamp? Boochamp. Boochamp? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Josh Giddy, Jalen Green, Herbert Jones, Tyrese Maxey, and Jalen Suggs. All right, can I go first on this? Yeah, of course. So, looking through this, <laughs> room, <laughs> yeah. Did you want to go first? I have something great to say, but you can go. Sorry. All right, no, you can you can go. You, you, can go. Go. No, you, no, you already no, said. Go, no, go. no, no, no. Mari made a big deal. Here's so my thing. He's watching you. <laughs> <laughs> it's all um, love here. It's all love. Yeah, now it is. But here's my thing. So my brother recently went to Orlando over the, over the Christmas break, and he went to the Magic game. Ooh. He said Cole Anthony was a bust. Did not do good in that game against really? the Wizards. Is he crazy? I don't know. But he told me, no bueno. See, see. That's ridiculous. I don't, I don't want to bring up the magic right now because when it comes to the magic, I, it's, it upsets me. Yeah. Only because I'm not a magic fan. I still haven't I'm forgiven a, them for 1997. No, no. The reason I don't like the magic right now is because you have Jalen Suggs, you have Cole Anthony, and then you have my one of my favorite players in the league, Markel Fultz, on the same roster. What, what, what about Mobamba? I'm talking about guards. They're extremely overloaded in guards. Uh, well, the whole team, Mo Bamba is that guy. Mo Bamba is an average player that should not have been drafted as high as he was. He was drafted based off of a song. I'm not lying. Like He was drafted based <laughs> off of a song. And listen, there has been players who were drafted just based off of popularity. But when you're talking about... Johnny Menzel. <laughs> oh, my Lord. We're talking about basketball. Yo, watch out for Money Menzel, man. Wrong sport. Wrong sport, man. <laughs> but when we're talking about players, what was he, like a six pick? He was a six pick. Yeah, yeah so he was the six pick. <clears throat> six pick is usually, let's, like, if I was to bring up some six picks, I mean, or in that area, you've had Christos Przingis, you've had, you've had, like. You had. Yeah, all right, let's, let's, I mean, yeah, like, you you have, like. I don't, I don't know what he's going on. But like all, all I wanted to know is what team did you think was oh, the favorite? Oh, my fault. Yeah. Getting, so, yeah, yeah, I have – which one was Team LaMelo on again? Uh, uh, Gary Payton. <laughs> Gary team. Payton's team. Yeah, so I got Gary Payton just because, <laughs> I mean <laughs> – oh, oh, I mean oh. – Because of one player? No, no, no. I mean, I'm just saying because, like, look – like, LaMelo and Scotty Barnes are two of the best players, like young players in the league right now. Then you have uh, Davion Mitchell, who's ex- underrated in my opinion. And Jaden Hardy, I've, I didn't even know that was a player. I'm not even going to So lie. four of these players are from the G League Ignite team. That is <clears throat> Dyson Daniels on Team Rick Barry, Jaden Hardy on Team Isaiah, Scott Henderson on Team Gary Payne, and then Marjan, was it Baychamp you said again? Yeah. Uh, he's on Team James Worthy. So th- those four guys are from the G League uh, Ignite. So is it like – a majority of the players are G League players, or is it just so that one? So those team? are the only four that are from the G League. Everyone else is NBA. All right, so that I didn't know that. What's that? There's some G League in here. Yeah, yeah, it's Ooh, in the Google Doc. Twenty-four that. NBA players, four G League players. Wait, here's, oh, see, I'm I'm reading something here. It's not a real game, basically. No, so the game, the first going to be three games played. Okay. The first two games are going to be up to fifty. I don't know like which team is facing which, mm. but in between each game, they're going to have what they call the Clorox Clutch Challenge, where teams of two, and I'll name the teams in a bit, will <clears throat> go off and they have to make certain historic shots. Those historic shots are going to be the Magic Johnson baby hook, 
the Ray Allen corner three, the Reggie Miller from the wing shot, Damian Lillard from the logo, and Charles Barkley top of the key. Um, how is Michael Jordan's shot not on here? I don't know. I but okay. I'm sorry. I just don't think that, anybody a, wants to try a fadeaway, bro. Yeah, and also Ky- I feel like Kyrie Irving shot. Or like the the Dirk fade. He, he yeah, like really there's a lot of shots that should have been on here, but this is a cool challenge. I, mean, I like this. Yeah, no, I would have liked the try. I would have liked the Kawhi Leonard shot. Yeah, that's a good shot. But well, I guess well, the Ray Allen corner mean, three is kind of the same thing. Ray Allen corner three. The base of what. Hossie said, "This is like the first year they're doing this, correct?" Yeah, yes. this is the first yeah, time they're, they're doing it for the seventy fifth anniversary. That's yeah, why was, everything's seventy five. I'm, I'm liking this. I like yeah. this a lot, actually. It's a cool little thing. So, how the clutch challenge works? Uh, the teams are two. They have uh, they have to alternate shots. They have a minute thirty to make all five shots. When they finish, uh, or basically whoever has the fastest time wins that challenge. And the teams are Tyrese Halberton and Desmond Bain. Scotty Barnes and Chris Duarte, Evan Mobley and Josh Giddy, and then Fanbo Zhang and Michael Foster Jr. So they got to compete in those challenges? Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, that's, that's cool. I like that. that. No, yeah, I like that. But yeah. there's a couple shots that are left off, but I guess if you have 75 years, you can't put, can't put everyone in but there. But these shots are iconic, though, with the Reggie Miller from the wing. No, yeah, of course. No, they've definitely played, like, Ray Allen's corner three. You know, yeah. th- those are huge, but, like. You know, there's a couple I, I think there's a little bit of re- recency bias with the Damian Lillard from I was the about logo. to say that. What about Steph Curry logo shot? Yeah, like Steph Curry, I don't know. OKC, That, that Damian Lillard shot, come on. We're yeah, talking but about 15 OKC, he's dribbling up prime time but that's not playoff basketball. Game. The, we're nah, talking about playoff games, yeah, I mean, sending yeah. OKC yeah. home. Oh, okay. Listen, like, if out of all three of these, if I had to rank, I mean, out of all of these shots, if I had to rank them, yep. number one and two, in my opinion, is Ray Allen and then Damian Lillard. Just because you have to look, you have to think about it like this. You have to think about it like this before you before you get on me. With Damian Lillard's shot, he walked up the court, stared Paul George down, and then waved goodbye. Like after he just hit, he hit one of the most the most clutch shot in his career. And that's a playoff game. That's that's not, a playoff game. That's the only reason I'll say it's a half. A half speaking Curry's. speaking of Damian Lillard, he did come out today and say that he would want he wants to spend the rest of his career in Portland. I mean, what do you want him to say? I mean, <clears throat> what do you want him to say? You want him to say he wants to leave? Like, come on. It's 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 admirable that he's such like a team oriented guy. He's loyal, but as of right now, he has no team. He has no second. He has no second option. Yes, he does. Who? Joseph Nurkic. All right, let's start. Let's he, go back to All Star break. Yeah, let's just go back to All Star. <laughs> let's go, let's yeah. go back so to anyway, um, Hasi, which one was your favorite team? Um. I I I want to go get paid because I am like Lamella Ball, but I like Team Worthy. I'm not gonna lie. I like Cole Anthony. I like the Jalen Suggs. That's a good team. That's those are teammates. Right? That, that's what I'm saying. Those are teammates. I think they're, they're gonna do good. I th- I think the glove team's got them. The glove, Gary Payton. You want that, glove? Te- that, you know, that, that team uh, looks good. You know who I got to go with? Hmm. I got to go with the the original bad boy. Isaiah oh, oh, I didn't even realize they had Anthony Edwards. Oh. Yeah, they have Anthony Edwards. I love Tyrese Halberton. Uh, Isaiah Stewart, he's a nice, dynamic big man. And then Pressure Chua, he gets it done. Desmond yeah. Bain. Can I, can I, really I, like can I switch my choice? Because yeah. looking, looking at that team, that is like the best all-around team. Like, I mean, they're, they're I all, all the teams are pretty good. Yeah. These are like pretty balanced no, teams. I though. mean, but Pressure Chua, Desmond mm-hmm. Bain, Sadiq Bay, Anthony Edwards, Tyrese Halliburton, Jay, they all get – Admirable minutes, and they all like handle themselves. I'll say this: what the NBA is doing tonight is going to make me tune in. Yeah, because I, I haven't tuned into any of this stuff. I'm not. I'm, I'm I don't think. I don't think I'm going to tune. In. I don't think it's enough for me. Yeah, Let's, I'll see the clips on YouTube tomorrow. So we'll talk about I'll it. I'll see you at nine o'clock p.m. or whenever this starts at your house. It starts at eight o'clock. I'll yeah, be there. I, I, since uh, this this is all happening uh, tonight. This all happened tonight. This is, this is the Friday schedule. I don't okay. Oh, uh, okay. I, I'll, I'll watch. You know what? I'm watching it with you, Martel. I'm with you. Thank you. I'm in. Now, I do want to see the Clorox Challenge, though, so I, I, I will peek my head yeah. for that. But like I the mean, actual like, game part, like, I don't know. Yo, you guys will be there. Yeah, so I don't know if I'm going to actually go watch the actual game part. I mean, if you're not there tonight, I don't know what you're doing. I'm not doing anything. It's just it's not worth my time. I mean, it's just going to be on. That's what it is. Right. I know, but it's just like... What else, what else are we going to put so on? So think about it like this, right? Although we could the, put on UConn highlights. The All-Star. Stop, oh. stop it. No one, needs to, no one needs to watch UConn highlights. See, we're saying I'm, NBA All-Star, so watch it. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, the reason why I said I can't watch it, when was the last entertaining All-Star weekend that we witnessed? 2015. 
Yeah, we have, we have, no, all star. No, I would say basketball definitely has all star weekend on lock. I usually tune in yeah. for at least one of the days. Okay, I, yeah. I always tune in for the slam dunk and three points. They definitely Every do year. better that's, than that's the same as me. I'm not talking about like I'm not. I'm not talking about like the obvious. I'm talking about think about it like this. When it comes to rookies and second years, the oh last, like, yeah, the last time it's actually been worth oh, no, I don't, watching. I, that's why I said before. The last the time I watched that was probably Derek Rose's rookie year. Yeah, like I, I always said that like Fridays, like you know, if you want to watch basketball, it's there, but like no one's. Not a lot of people are going to tune Especially in. Especially since, like, it's a celebrity game. Yeah, like, so it's, it's I, just I rather Saturday watch, Sunday's the day for this. I'm pretty sure I would have had more fun. I would have more fun re-watching the NFL 2022 Pro Bowl than watching. Nah, you're, not, watch. you're lying. That's a hot take. Wow. Nah, yeah, that is a hot take. Wow. And we're yeah. just going to move on to Saturday because Saturday. Sa- Sa- now, this is a day. This, this is a this, day. This is a day. All right. I, I so, was skating through this, Martel, and I'm like, <laughs> what is the NBA doing right here? <laughs> He, you know why? We had the Google Docs since yesterday. He could have saw this yesterday. Because he, he, he had all yesterday and today to look at it. <laughs> he, he is standing over, through it now. Yeah, look at this. Unbelievable. But he, how? Wait, oh, how? Before, before we get to the, con- the, the three-point contest, because you, I know you're looking at the three-point contest. Yeah, I know. We're, We're going to go to the skills challenge. The uh, skills challenge, three teams, the Giannis, or excuse me, the Antetokounmpo team. So, so, so what is it? So what is it? Three, it's three of his brothers, wait, right? Wait, hold on, wait, wait. What did you say? Ante. Ante. Ante Ante. Ante Tecumpuco. No, Ante Tecumpuco. Oh, you got me saying it. Giannis Ante Tecumpuco. Ante Tecumpuco. Ante- 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 I'm done. I'm done. Listen, I'm done. I have mastered. You got me saying it. I have mastered <laughs> this last time. You got me saying it, bro. Ante Tecumpuco. Ante Tecumpuco. Oh, my God. You just got to stop. Yeah, yeah, just stop. Just say Greek no. Just say the team Greek. Just oh, my Starbucks drink is, is, is in the way. You hear me swiping? I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. I Just go to the skills challenge, please. <laughs> team Ante Tecumpuco, led by Giannis. Uh, Theanis and Alex will also be there. Which all NBA like, champs? Why? All why NBA is it champs? just like two very Greek names and then Alex? What's wrong with the name Alex? There's nothing wrong with the name Alex. I just thought it was funny. It, it is. It's, 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 it's funny because the name is Alex. No, it's funny because you got like these two guys got Giannis and what's what? Theanis? Yeah, like, Theanis. Or, listen, sound listen. like Greek gods, and then we got Alex. In my opinion, Alex is the best out of all of them. So the <laughs> next team. <laughs> Next team is Team Cavs because you know it is in Cleveland. By the way, did you did you guys know that? I knew that. We talked about it the other day. I don't know. Did, did Mo? Mo? No, Mo has no idea. Yeah, Mo thought it was in Houston. Where's well, the All Star Weekend? Oh, I have no shot. I usually watch the Jester Jester YouTube vids for like, where it is. It's, a, it's in. It's in. A, I know last year. Wait, I know last year was, was in Charlotte. Okay. It's it's in Cleveland. It's in Cleveland. No, yeah, no, you had the, you had the question like it's in the no, it's in the it's birthplace. in the show doc. It's in the it's in the birthplace of where Curry was born. Of LeBron. No, we, we will be sitting here. We, we will be sitting here all day. Is it in Cleveland? It is in Cleveland. Yes, it's in, it's in Cleveland. There's, there's a team Cavs. Team me. Cavs. Look at the Google Doc, please. I, 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 I'm standing through it, bro. Watch your tone with me. <laughs> you know what? Sorry, sorry, sorry. 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 All right, so back to the team. So team Cavs is Jared Allen, Darius Garland, Evan Mobley, Team Rooks, Scotty Barnes, Kay Cunningham, Josh Giddy. I mean, this is the same shoot, dribble, pass, challenge. But there's three people now. I mean. It's only yeah, three, it's no? only three teams, three people. I don't really know how they're going to do it. Um, so wait, this is shorter, right? Because you, you, yeah, yeah. Cause, yeah, wasn't it like it was 12, 12 player tourney, and we go like one v one v one into the finals. So this is a little bit different from last. So now, past. now, now it's a team winner, so from one person. I like this better. Uh, I always thought the skills challenge was way too long. I gotta get used to it. I'm gonna be honest with you. I know who's not gonna win, and that's Team Antikakumpo, only because none of them can shoot. I mean, Giannis is not shooting. And just for bad. that, they're going to win tomorrow. Yep. <laughs> yep. Honestly, out of all of these, I'm giving it to Team Rooks. Barnes, I'm going, I'm going Cunningham, and Giddy. I was thinking Team Giannis or whatever they call it. They can't shoot. Yo, it's, none of them are none of them are going to be able Giannis, to shoot yo, that. Giannis is going to hit some shots. He's going to hit some shots. He's going to win the challenge. Listen, Giannis is going to take more time making that three than he does on his free throw routine. Right, probably. Sorry, so I, I had to throw my frappuccino, dude. Like, no, but that's a... <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It's only what six people, I think, or nine. Yeah, it's only nine people. Only nine it's people. Only nine people participating. Yeah, that challenge needs to be shorter. I'll say. Um, I like Team Cavs. I like it's, it. Yeah, Team Cavs. So team, no, it's, it's home team. Home it's, team all the way. It's a hometown. You know I mean? It's a hometown yeah. competition. Like they got. Yeah. Anyway, three point contest. Now this is this is. This right, this is I'll start off. I'll, yeah, I'll start no, off. Yes. <laughs> Where is Stephen Curry? Okay, you do. This happens every year. He's not going to do it every year. Like but, but like, you, like the Splash Bros are not even in it. Clay's not even in it. Well, Clay just got started playing. They're not gonna put him right back in it. All right, but right, like, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. But you know, come on, they, so you can't put the same people every year. So the contestants, then, you can put in Fred Van Fleet. So the come con- on, man. Okay, so the contestants, because <laughs> Fred 
Freddie V is awesome. Oh, tell, tell the contestants. I know, I know he's awesome. Oh, like, tell the contestants. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell, tell the, contestants. the contestants. We'll all pick a winner. The contestants are Fred Van Vliet, Desmond Bain, Luke Kennard, Zach Levine, CJ McCollum, Patty Mills, Carl Anthony Towns, and Ice, Iceberg, Trey. Why is this on here? Why does it say Ice? ice. Why does it say Ice? Yeah, I don't ice. know. He, he, he thinks tray. he's funny because he knows I'm on the Google Doc and he ice thinks tray. he's funny. Ice Trey. Well, you want to tell everybody about Ice Trey? Let me tell you something about Martel, guys. He's a Brooklyn Nets fan, and he, is, he has not <laughs> talked about the absolute nuke that has happened to his team. His team has lost their, I would say, at this point, their best player. And now you got Ben really? Simmons. Really? K- KD's hurt. We don't know what's going on with KD. I'm going to be honest with you. If you. Martel, you're a Nets fan. You probably lucked out because I've been saying this ever, like, for the, for the, like, since probably last year when the trade rumors came up around Ben Simmons, that the moment Ben Simmons leaves, and the moment that he steps on the court for a different team, I promise you he will actually become a three-point shooter. Because my friend plays basketball for Drexel. Okay. And he worked out with Ben Simmons multiple times. Oh. And he actually showed me video clips of Ben Simmons hitting step-back threes, pull-up threes, just like catch-and-shoot threes. So, And I was upset because I'm like, why can't he do this in game? So I promise you. Ben Simmons is going to be a problem. So I no, but also, I also, <clears throat> oh, sorry, I'm never going to go right back to All Star Weekend. I have one question. All right, yeah, you go, you go, it's your show. Who's winning the three point contest? Winning the three point <laughs> contest. Uh, ben Simmons. Yeah, okay. okay um, yeah. Let me be honest with you. I like right, Luke. Hold, I like Luke. Here, I like Luke Kennard. How do you say his last name? Luke Kennard, yeah. Yeah, I like Luke Kennard. Okay. Really? Yeah, he's a, he's a sharpshooter. He's going to go in there, not take any dribbles. He's going to get he's gonna get done. Well, you, you, you don't take dribbles in the three-point contest. I, you know what I'm saying. He's just going to go in there, get the get the job done. That's yes. it. Mo, wh- wh- what are you thinking over there? If I was to bet, okay, we'll just say that in that scenario. If I was to, uh-huh. Zach Levine is my winner. Thank Why is that? I don't know, man. Like, he has that shot, dude. He is, is him, him and DeMar in Chicago? They're, they're the team to beat in the East. You know, okay. I don't know if they're the team to beat in the East. They might be. I should walk off my own show right now. Because I, I can't believe we're not, we're not <laughs> well, even talking about. You know, what, we're before, not even talking. It's All Star Weekend. It's All Star Weekend. It's All Star Break. Before I like say my my opinion, why is Carl Anthony Towns in this in this competition? Yeah. They always have a big man. They always have a big man. And Desmond Bain. Desmond Bain, I have no clue. But Carl Anthony Towns. They always have a big man. I say whoever's shooting the best out of the big man. I honestly they throw think. Him in there. I honestly think Carl Anthony Towns gets to the finals. Am I tripping, I or was it? Didn't didn't Larry Bird win one year? Larry Bird's not a big man, though. Larry Bird's special. That's a, that's a forward. Like how was, how was tall it? is he, though? No, I, I'm thinking big man. I'm talking about like the seven footers, like the yeah. the centers. Yeah. Well, for me, I'm tied between Zach Levine and CJ McCollum, only because wasn't Zach Levine like a finalist last year? Yeah, yeah, and he almost won him. But it's like it's Curry. Nobody's gonna beat Curry. I, so, I mean, I'm gonna I'm just gonna go off and say it. I think. Ice Trey's got this. Here we go. He's only saying that because I'm here. <laughs> no, I really, I, I think Ice Trey that. I mean, out of all the guys right here, I would, I would say him, Cat, and Luke Kennard are the best three point shooters. I also, say, I also feel like the three point contest. We always like it's always the guy that we never expect. And Luke Kennard, he's just going there. He's a sharp shooter. This what is what he does. He just mean? catches. He just catches a shoot. Everybody expects Curry to win. <laughs> That's all right. We're talking about. Curry. All right, I'm not so, talking about Stephen Curry. Come on, Stephen Curry didn't win every year though. Right, Did he so lose one year? Can we get no. to my favorite contest? The slam dunk. The slam dunk. Contest. Which I had a, had a strong beginning with the first two contestants when they were announced: Obi Toppin and Jalen Green. Cole Anthony was a little questionable, and then Juan Toscano Anderson. Who is that? Yeah, he's the number ninety five for the Warriors. The forward. Really? Yeah. That's that's who they decided. To he's not bad. I actually, I he's a good role player. That's my pick right there. Really? Have you seen him dunk the ball on ESPN? And no, I actually haven't. Like, I have. He's, he, he's, a, he's a decent he dunker. He can dunk the ball. Like he I, was recently on there. He was like touching bow. I was like, I was like, okay, okay, my man got it. He might take it. I haven't. I, to be honest with you, I don't. I haven't really been watching. You know who I got? The slam dunk contest who, who, is not high for me. I, I, I gotta go, Jalen Green. I, I would go Jalen Green in this. Uh, actually, there's there's two Ob- people I'm looking at. Obi Toppin yeah. did do good last time he was in, but I'm gonna go Jalen Green only because that man. He's he, when it comes to dunking, he's a goat. But I, can I just say my piece on like Juan? Yeah, go ahead. I just don't understand why he's in there. Like, isn't the slam dunk like the popularity contest at Wall Street weekend? I uh, to be honest with you, I don't even watch the slam like, dunk contest. When you're when you think of the past All Star contests, we have Victor. Ola, we have look at some some of the past contestants: Victor Oladipo, Zach Levine, Giannis, um, even Derek Jones Jr. He doesn't fit 
into the same stigma as them when there's other players that could have been chosen. Like Miles Bridges. Miles Bridges. Exactly. Miles Bridges. I would have loved Kelly Uber, Jonathan Kaminga. Um, who's the guy for um, Derek Jones? You could have added him back, but like, this is just like, I mean, watch he do be the one to like win it all just because it's always the unknown ones who come out with the craziest dunks. But I know for a fact, I don't feel like Cole Anthony just is tall enough to make a creative dunk. I'm sorry. I mean, we'll see what he does. What about you? Who do you got? I mean, I'm looking at everybody, and I think you have to go Jalen Green. Yeah. Uh, like, like, I don't know. Who, like, I don't know. I think Jalen Green's going to win it. Dude, man. How many rounds is it? It's like two. How many rounds? I think it's a. I, I don't know if they the changed it or not. The first round is two dunks, and then the final round's one dunk. Yeah. Okay. Something curious. like that. Yeah, it's three dunks. It's three dunks for the contest. It's three dunks for the contest altogether. Okay. So I mean, yeah. I, hope, I hope we see something cool. That's really. Like, it, I, don't I really think care it's just wins. hard for the slam dunk, slam dunk contest to be cool anymore, just because we've seen everything. We haven't seen everything. It's just now we have players are just not. The thing about slam dunk contests with NBA players is they are they don't want to do nothing too crazy because this is their career. Like it'd be crazy to see somebody's career end on a slam dunk contest. We we got a we got a fan who texted me, Jesse Adesso, saying Obi Toppin's his guy. Hey. Oh, oh he's a, he's it's a, it's, it's reasonable. Hot. Obi Toppin, you it's know, reasonable. he might bring the house down. He Obi- might he might have a 2010 Dwight Howard Blake Griffin vibe. No, no, no. I got Obi Toppin having more of a Aaron Gordon, 2016 type of vibe. Ooh, okay, yeah. okay. That was like a good dunk contest. That was a good great. One. That was the last. That's the best that dunk, the, best dunk contest ever. I'll have to agree with him. Not to mention that he was cheated two years in a row because of Zach Levine. That is true. Yeah, wait, who did, who did he was the finals with after Zach Levine? I think it was just him and was, Zach Levine. It was and Zach Levine two times in a row. Well, Zach Levine was three years in a row because yeah. he went with uh, Victor Oladipo and Giannis that first year. He was a three time. Three time uh, dunk contest winner? Yeah. Something like that. And now yeah. and and now he's the uh <laughs> he went from being just he Rocked. went from being known as just a dunk contest player to the star player of the Bulls. Oh. Yeah, that's true, that's true, that's yeah, true. Yeah, tomorrow though. Yeah, but yeah. But yeah. The the dunk I mean he's been there longer, Zach I mean, been there longer. Zach Levine, the dunk contest definitely helped elevate his career that's to where I'm, he's at today. That's what I'm saying. The dunk contest has always been known as the popularity contest that helps like like Giannis was he was known. But people actually knew who Giannis was after the dunk contest. Yeah. Here's my thing. Where's Aaron Gordon at now? He's on Denver. He's Denver. Oh, well, he's washed. Yeah. I mean, well, that's what happens when you tear your ACL. I mean. <laughs> so, because we are running short on time. Thank you, Ma. Thank you, Ma. It's time for the most important part of the All-Star Weekend. Mo, what are you about to say? Hasi. What, what, what was that on your breath there, huh? <laughs> Just, you know, I just I wish I really wish people could see what Mo was saying before this podcast or radio. My bad. He comes in, he's like, he's like, I know sports. I don't need to look at the Google Doc. And like, he's just, you're lost. Watch your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so big, big Martel. How's it go? That's the most important part <laughs> because of because we are running short on time. I'm just gonna say, Team LeBron or Team Durant. Team LeBron. Uh, LeBron can't lose. It's his event. LeBron. And and wait, an all star and all star MVP. That's, That's where I was about to go. Yeah. I got LeBron winning it because and I'm sorry to say this, I feel like LeBron has been having such a down year. He's about to go try hard mode. Cause this is gonna be the only like achievement he gets all season. Yeah, that's probably Yeah, because mm. we'll mm. see what LeBron does. I don't think LeBron's gonna go crazy. Cause he's his body's probably hurting carrying the Lakers around. I don't think he's gonna go too hard. I I'm gonna go T. LeBron winning. I'm yep. gonna go uh-huh. Demar Derozan MVP. Yup. Uh, no, not Demar Derozan. I got Giannis. Okay. See, once again, you're saying like you don't see LeBron going try hard. This is the same man who like completely lost it when he finally beat the Kings. So, hey man, we'll see it. We'll see what happens. Here's my thing. I can't wait for the Giannis and Steph Curry. Bounce dunk to Giannis from Steph Curry. I can't that, wait for that, that is going to happen. Over, it has under, to be. over has under three to. and a half. How many do we see? Oh my god! I, if I was a betting man, I would do the over. <laughs> He's slamming it. I'm slamming the over. <laughs> man, if, if I'm a betting man. Well, I guess that's a perfect transition. We are going to take it to a short little break. When we come back, Mo will stay on. Of course, Cody will be joining us, and we will be talking some college wrestling for this. Week. My favorite. <laughs> this is the Letterman here at ninety point seven WCLH. 
Keep it locked. Thank you for tuning in to the Letterman here on 90.7 WCOH. Of course, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll get back to you Monday with some more news. Keep it locked. Yeah.